it's uh, Sunday 12 of June and it's, we are taking the blood to test for, for high urea and creatinine. Now this is a jugular vein, so my assistant is very experienced, first time you can get jugular vein, you can get a lot of blood and the uh, intern here helps to hold the dog so he has some experience handling it. Now this 15 year old female, not sterilized, dog has a very foul breath which indicate uremic a breath because the dog has uremia and it's not eating and has been vomiting for last three days so you can see uh, you see how the, all these procedures so one is for one is for the EDTA where they can analyze the biochemistry uh, okay one then the second one oh, glucose you see how they do the blood so so when you see practice you 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 observe here. Yeah. Hello? Yes? Yeah, you come? Uh? Mm. Uh, now, yeah, yeah, can. Uh, okay, can. Right. I have 10 to 11. So, this, this, this is the blood to test for uh, kidney failure. No? The, uh, the history is vomiting for three days. Mm, okay. So, now I will, I will get the x ray done. Then uh, we will do the IV drip. To, to provide dialysis. Now this dog is 15 years old, lost one kg since June last year. Last year he came in for, for urinary tract infection. But today or so, the owner did say about this urea, passing urine difficulty a few times downstairs, but no discharge, but you can see the bubble is swollen. Bubble is swollen, so.